Hey everybody, Spoonvet here, and I'm with uh, Caddy Linux or Backtrack 6 or whatever. But anyway, the new Backtrack, and yeah, let's, let's find out. I know they've made uh, a couple of changes to the user interface. I know they made the file system uh, hierarchy uh, compliant, so that's file hierarchy system compliant. Because they usually had a map um, called pen test with all the tools in it, but now they moved away from that and they made a new structure. So uh, I'm not quite sure what that structure is as I just now booting it up. It's just info that I just like got from their page and from other stuff. Um, well, I'm actually quite curious to what they made. Um, well, they apparently use GNOME 3 still, which I knew because I downloaded it and it had choice between GNOME and uh, what well, GNOME. Um, so apparently they like GNOME better as well. Not sure if that's a correct assumption or they, they just did not make the KDE one yet. I bet it's the last one. But then again, I know. Keep this conversation. Yes, sir. Low. Let's take a look at. Um, oh, well, first, let's do some technical details, shall we? So it's on the 3.7 kernel, uh, a Debian kernel. Nice. I quite like that. Apparently, they made their own, as stated by the 3.7.2 Caddy 5. So. They use the Debian kernel apparently and add their own fixes and tweaks and things to it. Uh, that's not something I expected, but I'm quite pleased to see actually. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, what else do we want to show? No, I just got a new uh, session and version. Yeah, so they are running 3.4. No, 3.4.2.1, yeah, right, cool. So they've um, uh, got GNOME in there. Um, they have a 3.7 kernel. Debian based, but their own thing. So that's pretty awesome. So let's take a look at those applications, shall we? And then I'll, I'll see what the file structure is. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, what do we have here? Digital Forensic Framework, that's pretty awesome. Come on, Smart Cards. Oh, cool. And Wiki Style. Arduino. Um, I quite dig Arduino boards. Um, I actually wanted to, to make a big project with it, but uh, not come around to it yet. They've Ditch the whole Firefox mantra thing, maybe, and for a default browser. Now they turn to Ice Weasel. That's pretty cool. Yay, Tor, Kelly Linux tools. All right. No, I'm just kidding. I will go back to them, but I want to do these first. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Off crack still on there. Cool. Security auditing and what do I have? Guy manager, that's a guy major. Guy major, I should say. Jesus. Damn it, so. An annoying word. Um, but that's for forensic imaging indeed. And let's take a look at Alright, the top ten tools. The top ten. Or is it their top ten or just the top ten of what you use? I don't know, I don't care. Alright, so air quick air crack. Sorry, I wanted to say air crack and burp sweet in one go. Um, uh, Burp Suite, yeah, so these, these are for Wi-Fi cracking, um, web cracking, well, not necessarily web cracking, but this is a great tool to help you, um, understand the application. Hydra for brute forcing your passwords, uh, John for, uh, cracking those password lists. Um, Maltigo is for, uh, social, no, not social engineering, yeah, you could use for social engineering, but it's more... Uh, Framework for gathering data uh, as an OSINT, uh, um, Open Source Intelligence Gathering. So that's pretty awesome. Metasploit framework. I don't think I need to explain it, but I will. Um, 
it is a framework with loads of pre-compiled uh, exploits so you can definitely really test your application well uh, in the exploit phase mmap scanner for uh, TCP ports to see what's running on them and US and fingerprinting and sort of stuff SQL map or SQL map or whatever the fuck you want to call it is a hell of a tool to crack um, database uh, crack the SQL injections as in finding them yeah it can find them pretty well as well but um, I mean once you found one maybe with bird suite or you've seen some kind of avenue with Nikto or uh, Skipfish SQL map is your go-to th thing for uh, brute for no, not brute forcing uh, to find out if it's really vulnerable or exploitable. Uh, Wireshark is for packet sniffing and to see what your tools are doing. Uh, it's probably a good thing. And Zap Proxy is uh, kind of like Burp Suite, so I'm not quite sure why these are there. And now I think about it, I actually do know. Burp Suite is the free version for uh, from Port Swigger. And Zap Proxy offers some fuzzing capabilities and other stuff that Burp Suite doesn't really have. So, uh, yeah, I quite understand. Alright, so let's uh, dig into the the whole tools and just get a quick overview uh, of what is in there. Um, also, now that we are watching this, I hate the fact that they did... This is all cool black and blue and white, and that's, that's sort of awesome style, you know, everything fits together, and then you click the menu, and it's this horrible gray and black, and the menu does not fit the the aesthetic of the distro but all right enough about that that's just pet peeve anyway the st standard tools are here um nothing new um again nothing new maybe that one but i'm not quite sure i've host identification wow they've put some effort into this one let's see you got pass discovery wally um dn map that's a new one and detect, that's a new one. CDB Snarf, that's also uh, not been here before. Network scanners, uh, net discovery, and I don't know what that oh, is. Fingerprinting, again, you see the same sort of stuff. Um, OSINT analysis, that's pretty cool. They did not put so much effort into the other one. Uh, Tofi is, I um, believe, a new one. And case file. Root analysis, uh, iron traces, uh, new for me at least. Service fingerprinting, no, everything is in there. It should be in there. Oh no, implementation, that's a new one. Um, scan IP, SNP, SNMP, SSL. Mm, telephony. Uh, Ace, that's, that was in the other one, it's pretty awesome. Traffic analysis, so... Pass. Cool, yeah, they've got a lot of stuff in here. Numiax and VPN, yeah, right. Vulnerability, Cisco tools, they got Cisco tools in here as well. Always. Factory base, it's a new one. Um, OS scanner, I think it's a new one. The whole MDB thing is also new, I mean, it is, to me it's new. That one I know, but I don't know if that was in here before. Fuzzing tools, they've got some awesome fuzzers in here. Miscellaneous scanners for a, for privilege escalation, these two. Or uh, and that one, and that one. Open source assessment, uh, an open VAS. Uh, now web application, CMS, they've got the standard things uh, as well here. Only, only that one is new. UA tester, cool. They've they've put a new one in here. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, web application fuzzers, power fuzzer is a XSSer. Um, I think web slayer is pretty good. I think web slayer is that one. I'm not quite sure which one I have in my head. Um, web application proxies, web crawlers. You know the standard stuff. And they've, oh, they've increased this one. They've got loads, load new vulnerability scans, but these are not really scanners. I mean, that one, yeah, that one, yeah, that one, yeah. But the other ones, not so much. But all right, that's must be me. Uh, password attacks, 
nothing new here by the looks of it or maybe no no not that I know of that one that one and that one and that one so these three yeah I don't know um <laughs> Bluetooth tools cool the same other wireless tools what is it on other wireless tools I have no idea what these are but I wanna figure out what they are I will uh, be messing about with them to see what they are RFID tools yeah they are doing a lot of so NFC tools oh cool that's new uh, for near field communication that is becoming uh, more and more in um, new telephones and maybe even uh, implemented in other areas so that's pretty awesome they they do a lot of stuff here as well with the RFIDs um, I mean I don't pay much attention to that yet because it's not an area I have much experience in but I do know that you can do a lot with RFID tags and do some serious damage to companies, so that's pretty fucking awesome. Um, company, yeah, no, this looks like to me like the standard set that you always get, maybe plus a few extra um, applications. But so far, everything looks like it's just there, what needs to be there. Cisco uh, for exploits. Cool, you can use this to find your exploits. Massploit, of course, Massploit. Network exploit exploitation, JBoss, Terminator, iCat, and Exploit 6. Cool, and Search Engineering Toolkit. Oh, they've renamed this. Cool. Sniffing, Network Sniffers, Darkstat. Um, yeah, so here you have Web and Mail. No, cool. You got so many tools on here. It's, it's Unreal Network Spoofing. I mean, look at these fake routers. Measure snarf, um, VoIP tools to crack that VoIP network and see what people are talking about. Um, web sniffers, uh, just stuff that like ferret is a really cool tool. Um, maintaining access OS backdoors, Kamathoa. Um, here's three palm. Yeah, so these are really. Yeah, your basically your backdoors and the um, exploits on the OS itself. Uh, tunneling tools to maintain your proxies and get connection to things that maybe you should not be able to get connection to, or hide your ass. And Webaku and Weebly. Uh, some debuggers. Oh, come here. Disassembly. Cool. I like that one. A miscellaneous reverse engineering tool, uh, mostly for like decompiling, no, deconstructing maybe is a better word. Uh, Android packages to see what's in there. That's pretty cool. Stress testing uh, for DDoSing, and uh, yeah, well, basically, you need to test your server if they can handle it. <coughs> Void trust. <clears throat> VoIP VP, uh, VoIP stress testing, or in other words, foam bombing, as it were. Uh, web stress. This is for uh, SSL certificates. You can bring them down. And this is for um, your, uh, well, your basically wireless network. Hardware hacking. Cool. These are the things that I said, like this jar and smiley and stuff like that, are for um, like deconstructing the uh, APK files. Um, Arduino tools are for making your own Arduino boards and doing stuff like that. Um, not quite sure why this is in here for a penetration test, but I'm sure you could do stuff with it. But uh, you could also hook up other electronic circuits and break the shit out of that. Forensics, um, antivirus, forensics tools. These are do not they don't make any sense. These are forensics. Um, autopsy is a very cool thing. Um, I think Gelata is a cool one as well. And the name rings bell, but I cannot pinpoint where. Why? Mm, forensic analysis tools. Uh, they really these they enhanced quite a lot. Uh, carving as well. We're getting everything out of there. Hashing, imaging to 
get the image um, so not destroy evidence completely that's forensic PDF and RAM for memory reporting tools um, magic tree is a very well known one I quite dig that one and media capture yeah all right cool and system services to start Apache Massploit MySQL and SSH so that was a lot of tools and oh yeah let me see what the file structure is so we lost the penetration testing thing um so we're just gonna find a scroll map oh, no, that's not what I want so as you can see this is the new um, way of doing things. Just everything is in a bin. Everything is in, you know, the normal file hierarchy structure is, um, well, the way to go, basically. Um, which is a decision they made consciously because they want to uh, see. No, there's no such thing, of course, because I'm already in home. But it doesn't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> so because they want to have everything compliance and make it so that uh, updates will be better suited for the system and I think they just want to make everything more abstract in general instead of um, being one that still has a pen test folder as it were plus if you have to divide everything then where are you gonna put everything like a SQL map they said uh, is in web uh, folder but could also be in database folder and that's something to say for that as well. Now you have everything just in the bin file or in the bin folder, I mean, and the S bin maybe, and then just in user uh, bin directory and stuff like that. So I think that was a good decision on their part. Um, that's actually it for me. Um, this is just basically look and feel of things. Uh, this is the new backtrack, so get used to it, I'm guessing. And I uh, quite dig the whole new look and feel of it um, just do not like this one because this one's also uh, well dark gray on like light gray whereas here it's like blue on white which suits this thing better for some reason and it got some cool uh, backgrounds uh, anyway um, did I miss something? No, this, I didn't miss anything. This is the new showcasing of uh, the new backtrack, um, Kali Linux. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this new distro because this is the new, new look and feel and everything.